Okay, so let's move to Adventure Hub. As we talked before, Adventure Hub, it includes uh, GMD2, it includes uh, community apps and all the, the software that we do. And the first big news is, is, is obviously we have someone new on our team. We have, um, we now have uh, Daniel Arsenault. I'm not quite sure if I said his name correctly, but is is our new UI and UX. Um, so basically, he does the user interface and the user experience. Our new designer and. Um, up until now, we've been doing, well, actually I've been doing the, the, the design myself and that's not an area that I feel very comfortable about. I was never trained in that, in those fields. So, and I don't really like to do, to do them. So, um, it's really great to have someone which is way better than myself, uh, doing it, taking care of that. And I can focus on on the on the code on the software development, and just have to implement these designs. This works uh, great. It's a lot faster, um, and we get uh, way better results. So we have already started to implement these designs. Um, we are currently implementing the new home screen. Actually, it's 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 a a series of things. You have uh, the new the new bottom menu. You have the new top menu, uh, the top bar. You have the new home screen. This is running off an emulator, so this might be a bit slow, especially because I'm also recording the screen at the same time. It's now uh, divided into one two three four five different sections you have the left widget panel you have the right widget panel and then uh where you see that big zero uh that's another section when where you see the 89 and 126 in the center in the bottom that's another section and then that big rpm bar you see on the bottom that's also another section so all these different sections uh you'll be able to um, uh, define what do you want to show there uh there will be plenty of widgets either graphical text gps based obd based from your ecu there will be uh, media controllers a gps recorder controls uh, there will be a lot of new stuff there are some interesting things that we can already show you like for example the left and right widget panel um, for example this this is the the right panel you can see it has the capability to hold three different widgets so you will have a screen where you can um, select what widgets do you want to show on the right panel you can select three then you can change them by using the arrows in the in the top you can just swipe the screen left or right to change the widgets or obviously you can use an handlebar controller to do that uh, same for the the left widget you can even have the same widget loaded with different values this is this is something that was requested a lot like the capability of have the apps shortcuts on more than one place and both of them are holding different shortcuts for example i can load uh, shortcuts here and have different shortcuts They are all independent uh, from one another, which was something that didn't happen on the previous version. Something that was also requested a lot is the ability to have a map widget that is exactly the same as the map view. When you go to home, you can still keep the map here as a widget. Uh, if you want to keep an eye on it, um you can even click on the map and zoom in and do exactly the same type of things that you would do on the full screen map 
So we made some changes in the way the controller works. The first one, the first big one would be the bottom menu. Up to this stage, uh, by default, whenever you uh, click left or right, by default, it would change your current view. So it would change, go right. It would go from home to the map. We are not doing that anymore. It's a bit of a waste of functionality because that's uh, you're not you're not changing the main view all the time, right? This is probably something that you do just on some occasions. You are probably most of the time on the map view, and also there was another problem that you would often change your current view by accident while doing other things. Okay, so if you watch closely, um, you will notice that. When you are changing the right panel, there's this uh, enter icon, icon right next to the apps. So if I exit, it means it's not being focused by the controller. But now if I press up or down, the apps are in focus. And you can see that small round uh, enter icon right next to the title, which means that if you press enter like this it will now jump to app selection so what is the logic behind this up and down left and right changes either the right or the left panel if i use up for example i'm now changing the widget if i want to change content inside the widget. And if it's showing me that round um, enter icon, it means there's something inside of it that's controllable. So in the case of, for example, the trip widget, if I press enter, I'm now inside the widget uh, and I can, in this case, only press the reset, which I can do like this and now I did a trip reset if we go for example to the apps widget we see also there is that small enter if we go to the adding for example there's no enter so even if I press the enter button on my controller it will know it won't do anything because this widget has no extra controls in the case of the apps, there is a control. If we are in the app screen and I press enter, I'm now controlling inside that widget. So I can now choose an app with the controller and then I can press enter to open that app. You can see that the enter icon is now a, a minus. That means if I press the minus, I exit the widget control mode and I'm back at controlling the whole view. So left, right for the left panel, up, down for the right panel. Another feature that we have been asked to, to have uh, a lot actually is color themes, not only dark and light mode but also accent colors so we added both options you can now select between dark mode and light mode i personally like the dark mode more but you can also select an accent color so if you look by default we have always used this blue accent you can see it on the bottom menu you can see it on this bar you can see it on this uh, plus buttons there but now for example if you want the colors to match your bike and imagine you have a ktm and you want the orange to be the accent you can change and now you have the orange as the accent color if you have um i don't know uh kawasaki you can change it to green I think the dark and light themes are mostly because of contrast, because it's a lot easier to see the different sections uh, during uh, uh, the day with a, when you have a lot of, of uh, sunlight hitting your screen. It's a lot easier 
to get a better contrast with white colors with the, the light theme than it is with a dark theme. You have the options there. You can set them manually or you can, if, if you have a, a, a device that will automatically change from night mode to, to light mode, uh, you can also make uh, drive mode follow the system. So whatever your system sets, um, drive mode will follow it and will either be light or dark. Okay, so this, this last feature is about notification. Okay, so a notification would be something like this. Basically, DMD2 will show you whatever new notification comes up. In this case, it's related to missed phone calls, but it can be anything you want. Um, and you can even select which apps you want to see notifications for. So everything related to notifications, it's right here in the settings. You can enable or disable showing this pop up on the screen. You can select how do you want to dismiss not the notifications. And I really like this feature because you can either select to have them display and then just go away after five seconds or 10 seconds or whatever time you want. But the one that I really like is to use this one, which is manually. And this means the notification will not go away until I use the controller to dismiss it or open the notification or I can just swipe it to the left with my finger to hide that notification. For example, imagine you, you are riding, someone calls you and you don't see the notification. If you have selected to manually dismiss, it means it will always be on the screen. So the next time you look at the screen, the notification will be there. It will not be replaced by any other notification and hold a list of notifications. And once you dismiss one, it will automatically show you the next one in a sequential order. So this allows you to never miss any notification. And if you add the fact that you can select which apps you want to see notifications for, this is quite powerful. So you, you have this filter and you can select which apps are relevant to you while you are riding. So maybe the phone so that you know if someone calls you. Uh, SMS, maybe a weather alert app. Maybe you use WhatsApp or any messenger type of app and you have a group for all the guys who are riding with you and for example on whatsapp you can select to get notifications just for that group so if you get a notification while riding and you are only looking at those specific types if you set up the list here then you know that you won't miss any type of notification from your group. So if someone writes, okay, I have a problem with my bike, I'm left behind. The next time you look at your screen, you're sure to not miss that notification because it's one of the ones you selected on this list. And because the dismiss is manually, it can only be dismissed by pressing a key on the handlebar controller or by manually going there and swiping and swiping it to the left. There's no way you miss any relevant notification. So I really like this system. And 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 that's it for now. Basically, uh, regarding uh, our software, the news are, uh, well, they are not quite news because Daniel Arsenal is the UI UX designer for quite some time now. The new home screen, we've been sharing a lot of this new stuff on the um, on our social channels. Besides the new home screen, there's this new notification feature. Okay, and, and, and I guess that's it for now regarding uh, our software. This is where we are at the moment. We have this new home screen that we should finish in one, two weeks. Uh, we are also have this new notification system that we just showed you. And then we are going to move on to all the different uh, sections of our app uh, where we are applying this new design from Danielle. The roadbook will have a new design, the map, 
the OBD, uh, everything will have its its uh, new design. And as we progress, we will do just like we just did. We will publish new videos showing uh, the new stuff. Where are we at the moment in terms of progress? Uh, and we will try to keep you updated using this, this same system that we use to produce this video because it's really easy to jump around from screens, from cameras um and make one video with everything in one go uh like it was a live stream so thank you for watching and catch you next time bye bye <laughs>